guys, today we're going to be talking about Naruto Season 2. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out my last video on Naruto Season 1. But yeah, let's get into it. Season 2. Very intriguing season. Oh, and by the way, if you hear any, like, fast breathing, um, my dog is sitting, like, right under me, and he just went for a walk. So, yeah. Uh, we got to know a lot of characters. Many characters were introduced in this season. The environment where they're battling out and stuff, forest, awesome. It's like, it's kind of like Hunger Games if you think about it. And uh, the trio, the main trio, um, they eventually run into the next big antagonist, which is Orochimaru. And he's like the big bad dude. He is evil, terrible guy. Um, but yeah, he seeks to obtain immortality. And he does that by finding different hosts and stuff. And that's what brings him to Sasuke. He sees something in him. And pretty interesting story they're setting up there. And it's got me excited to see what happens next. But yeah, after this big battle between Orochimaru and the, the trio of people. I mean, uh, Sakura wasn't really doing anything. But this sets up some good story for uh, Sakura. This is where we, this interesting factor comes in where, you know, she doesn't have... Uh, powers and jitsu that uh, her fellow ninja have. Naruto and Sasuke get knocked out and leaving her to protect them in this forest with all these different people that are trying to find them and kill them and take the scroll that they need. But yeah, she's the only thing standing in between Sasuke and Naruto and all of the ninja in the forest trying to kill her, track her down and all that. Which is really interesting and that really brought me into it. That was a really cool narrative. It's really cool to see the story sort of shift perspectives. It really makes you worry. And it makes you question if they'll ever pass the second trial. And the plot and everything of this whole season, it really brings you in. And it's really smart they did that through these trials. They, they really made you understand what these characters were going to go through. So all of our characters, our main characters, make it to the third trial. And this is when things get interesting more interesting because uh there's too many contendants so they do a sort of mortal combat type thing over here and then this brought even more excitement for me at least and this is where like i got to truly understand some more some more of these side characters um one of my now favorite characters is lee he just he wasn't born with any like jitsu or power that's special from anyone else's uh, he mainly focuses on his taijutsu, which is basically just physical uh, maneuvering and basically physical fighting. He doesn't need to be born with a gift or anything to win against someone that has a gift. He takes off these weights on his legs and then he just, he goes like sicko mode. And like he's literally as fast as Flash. Um, the season really focuses on uh, many simple themes throughout, basically just never giving up, no matter who says you can or cannot defeat them or whatever. And this theme applies to another character that really stood out and kind of impressed me this season, which was uh, Hinita. Um, from the first season, she, uh, uh, for the first season, she kind of stood out to me as like an annoying character that I'd have to deal with throughout this whole series. But uh, yeah, she's annoying with her like little, sounds that she makes um but uh yeah she kind of follows naruto's uh journey on because she's got to fight this other guy and he's telling her that she can't beat him um but she still gets up uh every time she gets knocked down which was a cool thing to have in this season um another character uh gara they're kind of setting him up as another another villain that we have to deal with throughout the series um for me personally, um, I, I feel like they're trying to make him too edgy. Like he, he comes out to be a little annoying for me. Um, uh, because he's in a battle between Lee and him. Um, and he tends to just hide in his little sand thing that he was born with. And he kind of shows us that he doesn't have really any talent. He just relies on what is given to him. Um, unlike Lee that actually pushes himself to his limits and actually goes all out and kicks some butt. Um, but yeah, a lot of 
a lot of new character development, a lot of new characters coming into the show, a lot of good things when it comes to introducing new characters and making a wider cast. Eventually the tournaments are finished, only Naruto and Sasuke out of our main trio make it through. Um, Sakura makes a tie with her friend and we have like a whole backstory between that, which was a little boring I'd say, but it gives us more information on what we need to know for like later seasons and all that and develops uh, her friend as a character. But yeah, really exciting and interesting season. Um, we got to know a lot of new characters that really grow on you um, and lots of new like antagonists that are developing and setting up things for our later seasons. Looking back on it, it's, it's a lot more eventful than the last season. I'm gonna rate it nine out of 10. Well, that's my review for season two. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll have my third season review. I'm watching that currently right now, but I'll have my third season review out sometime next week, I think. So, but yeah, it's been, it's been fun and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.